What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. And the second Q&A video of the day. Very questionable decision coming up here, but I hope it was worth it. If this doesn't remind you of Hills Have Eyes, I don't know what will. You coming or what? The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Oh. Okay. A couple more steps. See you at the top. Woo! Okay, welcome to Q&A video number two. Let's get on to it. I must be completely honest, we're not actually completely at the top. I just said completely, well, three times now. Um, I don't know if you can see in the distance, but there is a little flagpole up there. That is the true top. So that's exactly where we're gonna head. And I'll see you there to complete this question and answer part two. Thanks for being here guys, I really fucking appreciate it. Oh, I bit off a little more than I could chew there. When I was cutting for my first uh, physique show, I was doing this three, four times a week. I always knew, I wasn't bringing cameras along, but I always knew, you know, whenever I started on this walk, as long as I made it to the top and back, that's probably a good thousand calories burnt. And, uh, you know, especially if I did it fasted, which I have done this morning, that's just fat loss, mate, straight fat loss. It's good shit, but I'll see you at the top. I'm not quite sure <clears throat> I'm not quite sure how red my face is in fact let me check that oh yeah kind of red but here we are man we're at the top the top of the mountain and it's picturesque views the whole way around I'll show you and I'm the absolute only one up here guys which doesn't happen too often the only one is just me. Fuck. I'll swing this round because, well actually, no, you can't really see it that way, but this way, you can see the entire range going way, way off into the distance. The McDonnell Ranges. So if I move my big head behind me, That is where they continue. And uh, let's see if I can zoom in. So, here we are on top of Mount Gillen in the Northern Territory. Those are the McDonnell Ranges. And my name's Jacob McDonald. Let's get into the questions. Fuck, I almost forgot. Am I gonna am I gonna sit myself down somewhere? Um, yeah, I'm gonna sit myself right there. <sighs> Shit. This is like meditation. Holy fuck! Look, hey, look down. <laughs> I just looked down there and it didn't didn't do me any favors. Have a look. It's a pretty sheer rock face. In fact, let me see. No, I'm not gonna put the camera down there. Fuck that, let's get off. <laughs> let's get off and sit on, sit on something a little closer to the ground.
and try not to break your phone in the process. Okay. All right. All right, now or never. Let's do this. The last question was, favorite thing to do in my spare time? Okay, next question. Who is your favorite player in football and basketball and rugby? Who is my favorite player in football? You know, it's hard to go past AB just because of his personality and his laid backness and his epic social media sh shots, but uh, I would have to say my favorite player right now, my, the player I'm most excited to see play, is a, is, a, is a cross between Leonard Fournette and Saquon Barkley. Who's my favorite basketball player? Steven Adams, big Kiwi. Who's my favorite rugby player? Honestly, I could not say. I, I wouldn't even want to say. It would be disrespectful to, to all of the legends I've absolutely loved throughout my childhood. But look, you can't go past the outside, the outside backs for the All Blacks in the late 90s, early 2000s, which was Jeff Wilson on the right wing, number 14, Joe Nolomu on the left wing, number 11, and Christian Cullen at the back, number 15. Height and waist size. I am 185 centimeters tall, that is six foot one, and my waist is around about 34 inches. Which team do you think would go see, which team do you think you would go see play for your first NFL game experience? I would say either Jacksonville, Kansas, or either of the New York teams. But I couldn't say. Honestly, I'd like to go to any game. Seriously. What are your goals for your YouTube page? To stay true to myself, first and foremost, and to continue to grow it, to continue to entertain, to continue to inspire, motivate, that kind of thing. As far as numbers, as far as creating a full-time income through YouTube, no, that's not the, that's not the goal. That's not. Because it most likely won't happen. Best unis in the NFL. Best best unis in the NFL. Best uniforms in the NFL. I would say. I fucking love the Miami Dolphins uniform. I really do. I love that teal and orange. But in saying that, I love the color red. So I'd have to say Kansas City Chiefs. Um, and also in saying that, you know, the, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah, and from there, I mean, that's, that's just because it sort of reminds me of sort of like a retro uh, colorway. But uh, yeah, I'd say anything, anything. Nick Minnett. You know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with that, Miami Dolphins. Okay, have you been to the United States to watch an NFL game? No, I have not been to the United States. I have only been to New Zealand, where I was born, Australia, where I live, Bali, and Thailand. Will you give my channel some support? <laughs> Will you give my channel some support? Support your boy, Sports and More with the Madman. That is not a question. You meant to ask questions. But if you do want to check out one of my subscribers who's taken some inspiration and motivation from me and set up his own YouTube channel, which I've actually heard, you know, quite a, few, quite a number of you have done. Uh, check him out. Sports and more with the madman. It's up to you. How's business doing? It's doing well. I'm enjoying it. I, you know, regardless of, regardless of the revenue coming in, which is average. You know, it's okay. We started off strong, which I expected. Now the grind starts, you know. Successful businesses are built on return customers. I'm hoping that the customers that do come through the store for the first time do enjoy their products. I, I firmly believe that anyone who does come through the store, buys something for the first time, is going to realize that for the price, you know, the quality is pretty damn good. And so I'm hoping that the, the power of word of mouth, as well as obviously the, the Instagram page, which I'm working on uh, all the time, trying to network, trying to 
bring in you know eyes to the brand and, and to the business um, it's only going to get better from here so how's business doing it's doing really well I'm enjoying it where's that TJ Watt reaction oh I'm still here yes you are mate you're fucking still here TJ Watt did he lead the league in sacks he I think he was like top three or something look mate TJ Watt he's coming TJ Watt will definitely be on the top 100 players of 2019 so I'd say that's when you're gonna see him have you ever smoked well smoked what I've smoked marijuana I've smoked cigarettes but the last cigarette I had was at age 12 believe it or not so yes yes I have smoked cigarettes but not since the age of 12 when I thought it was cool what are some of your favorite music bands we actually answered that in the last video, so I won't, I won't go through that. <laughs> but I will tell you my, my go-to answer that I tell everyone. All sorts. What made you want to react to NFL videos? Well, I have always loved rugby. I've always loved sport, and I've always loved athleticism, strength, power, and speed. And I can see it in a player in a particular sport so football was always going to be a sport that I did get into eventually um, the only thing is that this time for whatever reason I decided to turn the camera on turn on the screen recorder and and do it on camera for the first time ever because I knew that whatever I saw I was most likely going to enjoy and have an opinion on and I thought you know what fuck it I'm gonna give this opinion to my YouTube audience and that's what happened man it was just one it was just a random day um, and I wanted to see some steps. I wanted to see the best jukes, which I didn't even know they were called at the time, the best steps, best side steps that the NFL had to offer um, in comparison to what I've seen in rugby. And I, I enjoyed myself, and you did too, so here we are. That's how it happened, man. It was all about side steps. Which NFL player would you choose to be the human ambassador at Alien Contact? Jeez, that's a hard one, isn't it? It's going to be mental as well as physical. I would say, you know what? I'm going to go. I'm going to go far left field here. I'm going to go Bernie Kosar. What a fucking legend! If you could commit to any school only to decommit last second and go to their rival, well, if I had to say someone, I'd say Michigan. <laughs> what's the biggest challenge you've faced so far in starting your own brand I would say doing everything myself you know not having help um, not not uh, not teaming up with anyone I guess just literally having the whole entire thing the whole process on my back um, and then having to uh, negotiate my way through negative comments on YouTube um, and through that still being able to keep my motivation at, at a high you know th through the the trials and tribulations of, of starting a brand um, you know all the all the hurdles and and uh, you know all the uh, all the tasks and hurdles that come along with it keeping that motivation high throughout you know keeping that belief in your product throughout and uh, you know thank God I put in the work at the start to make sure that I had a decent product because right now if I knew deep down that my product wasn't top quality then I'd be worried but I'm not because I'm, I'm, I'm sure that anyone who does purchase anyone who comes through supports the the products gets products in their hands and and uses them and wears them um, is going to be pleasantly surprised with the quality so you know what nothing good comes easy it's early days talk to me in a couple of years and we'll see what happens what is the one thing you would like to accomplish before the age of 30? Jeez, that's a good question. As of this moment, I have just over a year and a half until that point. And uh, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put something out there right now. Some of you may support me in this. Some of you may think I'm crazy. But before the age of 30, I'm determined to become a professional athlete and I'll leave it there 
Have you watched Peyton detail my brother? What? Have you watched Peyton detail my brother? Your guess is as good as mine. Will MKP expand its colours or add patterns? Absolutely, yes. When the time is right. The next product that will be coming out is uh, the crew neck jumpers. They are coming out in, just in time for the Australian winter in May, which is next month. From there, we've got hoodies. Uh, and then as far as expanding, I need to take a trip to China to my second manufacturer's uh, offices and work through these samples that I've actually had made back in December of last year. So I've got 12 garments ready to go once I have the finances to do it. And that's all I can really say on that. Why does Kiwi Kicker have a better channel than you? <laughs> uh, this was Kiwi Kicker who actually asked this. Um, Kiwi Kicker. Kiwi Kicker, good old Sam. You know, it's a hard one because you're my friend, but you've also definitely taken food off of my table. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, but uh, you know what? From the start, I thought it was crack up <laughs> that, you, that you did uh, you know, choose to use my uh, video model, you could say. It was, uh, it was you know, the highest form of flattery, and we have become mates. So you know what? I'm not gonna agree with you. I think my channel is better than yours. <laughs> And I'll always think that, but uh, by all means, man, let's put it to a poll. Okay, favorite NFL highlight of all time, single play. It's got to be Marshawn Lynch's earthquake. It has to be. That run was ridiculous. So sick. I actually missed one. Okay, favorite position you wouldn't or couldn't play. Quarterback. It's got to be quarterback, man. Who, who, who doesn't want to earn 20 or 30 million dollars a year? I mean, come on. What's the biggest challenge you've faced so far? Oh, sorry, that was the last one. What do we got here? Are you ever coming to the States? If so, come to a Buffalo Bills game. Bills Mafia will accept you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. I know they will. In fact, I'll bring all of my Bills gear. But uh, at this moment, I cancelled my first trip to the US, which was meant to be in January and my plans at this stage are to get over there before the end of the year. How do you feel about basketball? Well, I feel good about basketball. I love it. It's a great sport. I love all sports, as you guys know. You want to come out to Colorado sometime? Absolutely. Let's train in some altitude. Will you ever react to NFL players' highlights when they were in college? In brackets, do Sonny Mitchell, Sonny McKell. Sonny McHale running back for, who's he running back for? I think he's for the, uh, the Patriots, actually. Sonny McHale. Will you ever react to NFL playlights? Will you ever react to NFL players' highlights when they're in college? Well, of course. Of course I will. It's just, you know, I've been, I have been pressed for time lately, as you guys know. But uh, once I do have a, a handle on things, then I'll certainly be getting back into the reactions. Now, there was one question back here that I didn't actually answer, and that was about smoking. Smoking weed. Are you smoking weed again? I think that was the question. And look guys, you know, I have a tendency to be overcritical of myself. I have a tendency to think, overthink things, and beat myself up for things that I really shouldn't be. And you know what, in reply to that question, um, as I sit up here on this epic mountaintop, answering questions for you guys, thinking about the future, being excited about it. You know, this just is the cherry on the cake. So I'm going to spark this up, enjoy it, probably meditate for a good 10 minutes up here, and then slowly, slowly head back down. And so the answer to your question is yes. Yes, I am smoking again. And uh, all I've got to say is, you know what? You know what? Life is too short. It's too fucking short, guys. 
Time is our biggest asset. And it's running out. Day after day. Life is too short. So make the most of it. Peace out, everybody.